All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of House Flipper 2. I am your challengee, I guess. Yes, challengee and renovate, renovate. So, uh, guys, when I first asked for challenges to be submitted on Discord, one of the first ones I got was to develop <laughs> or to make the White House. And uh, I thought that was cool and all, but I don't think we got the property big enough to do the actual White House, nor do I know what the inside of the White House looks like. So, uh, with that being said, the person that submitted the challenge changed uh, what their challenge would be, and they said, and I'll bring it up here on the screen so you can read it too, uh, it basically said to... Uh, create a, um, a, an ancient Greek house with stable and or courtyard. The rules, uh, you can use any dimensions as you see fit, but cannot be smaller than half the size of your first sandbox design. Half the size of that. All right. I'm with you. Obviously a few feet here and there. Okay. Uh, it must have a Greek style look. There's like a little cardboard or paper model here that they're showing and i don't know if the two are connected or if that's one house and that's the other house i don't know uh it must have a greek style look uh to it as close as you can get uh, it must contain a stable big enough to house uh, at least three horses comfortably uh, it must have at least one fountain if the game permits we'll work on that uh it must be uh at least two stories with a basement uh, basement and this is where you uh, would find the kitchen you would find the kitchen in the basement is that in the kitchen must have a rustic look about it and it must be at least light color and marble so i'm taking by number four with a basement a basement and this is where you would find the kitchen that's interesting i didn't think they'd put the kitchen in the basement but maybe they would because you know if you're storing food and uh the best place to store food is subgrade so of course you'd put like a pantry in a cellar that might be cool we'll have to work on that uh and then re-entry way must if the game permits have marble columns i think we can do that too this is my challenge to you this is from vans kiwi so that was the first challenge that we got and uh like i said there's the little picture of it so we're going to try this we're going to try this and uh, I think we'll use the, um, I think we'll, hmm, should we use the beach? Should we use the beach? That'd be kind of cool. We haven't done one on the beach yet, have we? Let's do new property. Uh, let's see, uh, new property, new property. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's get large property. I mean, the beach would be kind of cool. Should we do the beach? I don't know, Greece? Is Greece, I did Greece near, an, I'm sure it will, Gre Greece is near an ocean. Okay, or a, a sea. Um. Man, I don't know. I mean, we could put it on an island, I guess, of its own, right? Just put it on its own island? We couldn't get horses to it if it's on its own island, right? That would kind of be weird. Uh, let's put it on, let's put it on this. Just for fun. We haven't done one on this, and I think that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if it would look right in the woods. Let's try the coast. We haven't done one on the coast. We'll use the biggest lot as possible. Uh, we're gonna name this one, uh, the Greek, the Greece house, or the Greek home. Uh, Greek custom home challenge there we go and this uh when we're finished with this this will be on mod io so you guys can go and download this all right great custom home challenge all right here we go let's create this bad boy all right so we have neighbors uh we have uh they're probably gonna be mad that we have horses though that's gonna be the only issue so maybe what we do is we build a wall around the house to begin with, all right? So uh, I gotta remember completely how to do this. This is this is totally foreign to me. So this is gonna have a basement, right? So we're gonna have to have, we can't raise the grades. We're gonna have to cut out the ground, I guess. I guess, how far, uh, let's do this. Cut out a hole in the ground, uh, land holes. Let's just try this real quick, right there. And then how far below grade, can I drop down inside? I can. Okay, we can go down pretty quick. Okay, we can go down pretty far. Okay, let's just undo that. All right, I'm good with that. So we're in flying mode. And for some reason they gave us grass instead of sand. Uh, do we have the ability to go in and paint sand? Yes, we do. Let's paint sand uh, with the greatest of intensity possible. <laughs> right, there we go. That's great. All right. So I want this all to be sand. All right. So we're going to take sand all the way to this back corner. There we go. I like that. Okay. 
it looks like we can actually go oh, that's cool we can actually like look into these houses that's kind of cool all right so let's go ahead i want to build a wall first because that's going to be our uh that's going to be our property wall so we got to see where does our where can we start here i don't know where our property lines are um it looks like that is our property line right there okay so let's build a wall we're going to build a wall all the way around our property and we'll go to as far as we can so it looks like right there and let's make it like uh however wide that was that was like four wide and let's make it about that tall <laughs> and then let's go like this and that's gonna be our our wall so that our neighbors cannot see what we're doing all right we didn't get that one thick enough and then we'll go all the way down to there and then all the way down i didn't have to make this solid i don't know why i did this we could have just did one like each side and then just filled in the top but like i said it's been a while since i played so we're gonna do this this will give us a wall on that side and i'll end up doing this all the way around our property i just wanted to see if it was possible and it is all right and then we're going to lay this out so i have never done a greek design ever so this will be my first attempt at this i think it's kind of funny um let's let's fill in this whole section right here Boop. and done all right cool We'll probably go ahead and bring this all the way across, just so I know where I'm at. So let's go to there and up one more. Okay, that wasn't big enough. And then we'll event we'll, we'll put an entryway at the front so that people can't get into our, our house. And we'll make it the same thickness, all right? So we'll take this one all the way down. This will just be, we'll just do it hollow this time so we don't have to worry about it. And then all the way to here. And then we'll fill this part in. And then we'll fill this part in all right so we're, we're 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 telling people this is our property you cannot come into it unless you have good food all right so i don't really care how it's centered but it's got to have a horse carriage right so i'm guessing uh let's put the horse carriage like over here all right so uh let's have it let's see i don't even know how big a horse is let's say let's let's make it like let's try 26 feet deep all right, and we're going, we'll take it up. We'll give them 12 foot ceilings. I think that's probably good. And then let's take this down and 44 feet's probably fine like that. And then we'll take this across to there and then up. And then from there, oops, there to here, 12 feet. All right, cool. All right, and then we'll go like that. And then let's have, uh, this will be our horse stalls like this. They're not gonna be closed in like that. I'm just I'm just playing around with it. So our inside dimension is 44 feet. So let's do uh, 14, eight, boom. You said comfortably, so uh, 14, eight, boom. All right, so there's the horse stalls. Uh, that one looks like it's needs moved over just one. All right, so let's do that again. Let's do 14 there. Yep, that looks better. All right, so that's gonna be the horse stalls. I think what I want to do though is on this front part, I want to let's cut out. Actually, let you know what? Let's bring these lines out so I can at least see where we are. No, that's that's fine, just like that. We'll bring these out like this. And then that way I can kind of see how big these are. So that is 13, 12, 8. 13, 12, 8. 12, 8. All right, I like that. And then let's grab architectural elements. This. And whoops, I didn't get it on the wall out here. All right, I like that. All right, I'm liking that already. And I probably want to make those wood, I would think. Yeah, I think I'd want to make those wood. And let's have uh, let's have this be our roof. And we're going to have this roof basically come out a little bit longer like that. And then we'll just have it, uh, this is fine back here. We'll have it like this. All right, I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and get our roof. Now that we kind of understand how roofs work now, like this. And we kind of want this, we need to go up one block. Uh, I wish I could like tell it just to move up a block. Maybe it'd be better to do it from the back side. Yeah, see, that doesn't work. I need it to be, <laughs> we do this every freaking time. Uh, it's such annoying. All right, let's put a, let's put a block here. All right, now let's do a roof. There, that worked. That's what I wanted. 
All right, so we got that. I think I want this to be a little bit taller though. So let's uh, change this style and we'll go up to a, what about a 10 pitch? Does that look about right? A 10 pitch is nice. And then I like the clay tile roof. I think that's cool. Uh, oh, you know what? I totally forgot. So if we do this, uh, limit roof, yes. So if I go like this and go up, does the take away, I can't tell you how nice that is just to see that happen. All right, so that works. Hot air, hot, look at all these hot air balloons. I don't know if you see those in Greece or not. Uh, let's go ahead and stretch this. Uh, let's see, stretch, resize, and we will bring this all the way through. Um, I almost don't want overhangs on the end of this building. Yeah, I almost like the no overhang look on the gable ends. I think that's kind of cool. Yep, that's, I like that. All right, so let's grab the wall again. Hopefully it, it keeps the same settings and then go up. All right, so this is our stable and yeah, I like that. And then let's get, let's go ahead and run uh, this wall up. All right, I like that. And then let's run, let's run this through like, actually let's do this. Let's run this wall up as well. And then let's run this all the way through like it's a beam. All right, and then we will have a beam that comes, oh crap. Uh, so we didn't center that poop. Um. I mean, we could stretch it in one and just make the overhang on the outside less. I mean, that would be okay. Let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, stretch it in one. Yep, that's fine. And then let's just uh, delete uh, that and that. Actually, let's just delete all of the roof. Or not all the roof, but this wall. And we'll delete all this and all this. We'll just redraw it. It's easier and, and quicker to do it that way. All the way up. And then destroy this part or not. There we go. Nope. Oh, there we go. All right, the reason I wanted to do that is so I could get a beam down the middle like this. And these are going to stick out on the ends a little bit, All right? And then we'll have one on this end just a little bit. Cool. All right, and so we'll finish these walls here and this wall here. All right. And then I kind of want to leave like this section of the wall basically like this open like that so the horses can see through and so can we and then actually let's take this up two more like that yeah and then let's bring this across good and then let's finish this little section here yep and then we'll do the same two wide here and then we'll do another one down here cool and then what i want to do is i want to bring uh, a pillar down like this and now that i know where it's at is it right there yes like that and then we'll bring this one down like this and then let's go ahead and bring this we don't want that sitting on a place that doesn't have support all right just like that i almost want to bring that wall back yeah i don't like the wall being offset really i don't like this whole entire wall i don't like that being offset uh i guess that would be fine if we did like three here three wide there and then we did it three wide here and then this one would be three wide there and then let's run these across like that. All right, I guess I could just ran those all the way through. All right, cool. I like that. I like that a lot. And then we'll have some angled one here, angled ones here. I don't know if that would be possible with those angled blocks that we have. Uh, you know what I'm talking, this one here. I don't know if that would allow us to do that or not. Like, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, that does not going to work. I could rotate it though, couldn't I? That might look kind of stupid though. That's fine, we're good. Uh, if anything, we could like go like this. Uh, actually, we probably couldn't. Yeah, we couldn't do that either. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, we're we're learning, right? So we could rotate these. So we'd need like a pillar here, but we didn't center these at all. So that sucked. Um, that's okay. We're, we'll be fine. Uh, let's get. Um, actually, we could keep those. Those jut out like that. Let's get rid of the top one. Yeah, we'll just have these stick out just a little bit. These are like the beams inside, and then we'd have another one like right here. All right, I like that. And then color-wise, we'll go with. Um, uh, I guess we got to find a color, don't we? Uh, Q. Let's go with a an old school plaster, and we'll go with a kind of a beige color or a cream color. We really don't have like a necessarily a cream color. Let's just see what this looks like. It's not that bad, like a plaster exterior on it. Can we give that, um, actually let's, I can't give it a cut pattern though, can I? 
Oop. Um, I almost don't want this to have that plaster look to it, this here. So let's do this and let's do a wood, a painted wood. And let's make this, uh, let's make this a darker brown color, almost like that with the green roof. I like that. And then we'll cut, we'll paint these the same thing as the, paint those there. Those are the beams sticking out. All right, cool. So all these beams inside would be that color as well. So we'll play with the inside like this. All right, and then these would all be that color. And so would all these. All right, cool. That's starting to look nice. We really even haven't done anything to it yet. All right, we don't have horses, so I can't really, um, wouldn't it be cool if we had horses? Like the farming DLC that they brought out. I don't remember if they had horses on it or not. I don't even know if I even played that one on House Slipper 1. I heard a lot of people talk about it, though. All right, so that's done, that's done, that's done. We gotta get the tops of this, which we could actually do all of these at the same time. And then we'll get that all the way up. That's done. All right, that's all done. We'll have to get some cool hanging lights in here, too. I think that'd be cool. All right, so those are all done. So those are all the beams on the inside. We'll have to have some beams, I think, on the end, but we'll play with that. Um, Actually, we want... We want these to have that as well, like right here against the wall. I forgot to paint the underside. And we're gonna give like the separations between the units, we'll give those its own color, like a panel or something. So the the, the horses have friends. We should probably put a beam on the end of that one. Okay, we're all good here. Um, And then I probably want these to be the beam color like this. Actually, this, this probably should all be that, now that I think of it. And then we'll just make this last one like one like that yeah all right there we go that's all done we missed a couple little tiny pieces here and there and then we'll copy this color and we'll put it here on the side like this and then all of that including that and then let's go ahead and run uh i know you can't see it from that side but i want to run a some of these like this um we could run a double out i guess here and then run one out here oh just just one please thank you <laughs> i wonder if i could use that here then like this no crap uh let's go ahead and use this one maybe oh, okay so you can't um so you can just do it like this okay i mean i like that too that's kind of cool and then we'll just go like this that one down there has got a leg on it. I didn't realize I did that, All right? So take this one down like that and give it a leg. That one's too long. All right, let's get our paint and we'll paint all these. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Paint, please. There we go. All right, and then we'll go ahead and grab uh, some kind of a paneling. We'll just do like a wood plank design on the ceiling. So it just gives it a little bit more character than just this flat color. We might uh, change up the color just a little bit. Why can't you paint that? <laughs> I painted that one. Huh. All right. Well, let's get rid of you then since you won't let me. Oh, unless. Oh, there was two of them there. That's why. All right. So we got all that done. All right. Let's paint this ceiling. So let's grab this, but let's change it to a wood and maybe we go with that and we'll do a cut pattern of this all right and then what does this look like up inside that ceiling that looks freaking awesome this is what it looks like all the way through that's cool and then we're gonna do the whole roof with that uh would it go that way yes it would although let's change the no that's not what i wanted to do um let's do this and make the cut pattern a little bit bigger yeah, that's better. All right, I like that a lot better. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm I'm good with that. And then the inside of this, we need to make it. Um, let's go ahead and do that with this too, just so it all matches. And then let's pick this, and we'll put that on the inside. So that's the stucco interior. Cool. And then the inside of this is all going to be wood. Yeah, the inside of this is all going to be wood. So we need like wood doors. Uh, I don't even know if we have like a door door, like a uh, like a door that's not. You know what I'm saying? Like um, it's not, it wouldn't even be a door. It'd be like a frame, right? Like we could use these, you know, to like move the door out of the way. Yeah, this might be. I don't know if we can change these. You know, you can. Handles, details. So details A would be a material. We'd use like the wood. Uh, handles are okay. The base color would be wood. And I think this would just be the same wood. I don't think we need to go crazy with it. Oh God, those are tiny doors. Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right, so let's get, uh, let's do an opening. 
like this. Let's see, let's do, or would you just have like barn doors? You would probably just have a, a like doors to open to let the, the horses in, right? So would you arch those and then just put like a fence across it and then you could just like open the fence? Maybe that's what we do. Or would you give a, would you have like a opening for your, for your horse like right here and then have like a opening like this so the horse can stick his little head out like that. I think that would be cool. One, two. That one's actually bigger. That's five foot four. Oh my god. Is this one shorter? Thirteen four. Yeah, it's one block. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this one's gonna be the smaller of the two. All right, and then let's do the same thing down here. Two blocks, two blocks, two blocks. All right, we'll give them two blocks. I think we're gonna make their doors. Yeah, I think we'll make their doors. So let's go ahead and paint uh, this. Let's grab this. Let's get a material. Uh, see, what are we using right now? It's just a uh, paint, right? Let's get a painted material. We'll go with wood. We'll go with a painted wood, uh, the same color, but I want it to be these stripes. Okay. And then what does that look like if I go like this? Uh, stripes are too small. Okay. Uh, let's do that again. Uh, go three. That works. All right. We'll do two this way. All right. Let's do it like that. And then we'll do a piece across like this. And then we'll do the same thing here. And we'll run a piece across the bottom. Yeah, we'll just run it all the way across the bottom. And we'll wrap it around on the inside. We'll go like this. This might go the wrong way. Nope, it's correct. Cool. That worked out. And then we're going to put some vertical pieces. We'll change the cut. All right, and then we'll run it. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. So I'll have to change the cut on that one. It's all oriented to the the inside. All right, and then that would be, that would be fine. That would be fine. We'll need one here, here, and then here and here here yep that works out good okay and then let's do this let's do cut pattern or not cut pattern size but rotation two that should work on there it does cool and there and there and then we want to go like this and like that so i'm trying to make it look like wood planks that's exactly what i'm looking for we forgot to do the top that's okay we'll get it we got this so this is for the horses if you're wondering this isn't for house if you're just if you're watching and you're like uh what the heck is he doing this is a challenge to make a Greek house. But one of the first things we gotta do is make a place for the horses to go. So we're making a horse stable and we'll probably carry the same theme over to the house. Maybe not with the dark colors, but I thought the horse stable would look kind of cool like this. Uh, I guess that's fine to have that all go all the way down. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not, a, I'm not, that's fine. I go across like that. I need to paint that. We got that piece, that piece, that. All of this, all of that, all of that. All right, is that all of it? It looks like all of it, except for the top here. And then we'll take this all the way across. Nope, <laughs> crap. Uh, let's see, we needed, what, this one? Yeah, that goes all the way across. Bam, that's right. All right, cool. And then we'll copy this and we'll finish up some of these little details that we missed on there and then we'll copy this on this whole wall all right and then we got a little piece here that we missed so those beams go through looks good then we just need little port windows back here on the back right now i don't know if they would have windows if we would just i mean let's look at the windows real quick because i mean typically they wouldn't horses wouldn't have windows you would have like these little things here i don't even know if we'd want to put grids in them like this would be fun to have these little circles like this but well, i was thinking about putting these up here in the gable ends um what else do they have that are fancy kind of cool fancy windows like these things how big are these i mean that would be kind of cool to have one there one there one there. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it doesn't doesn't look really that bad. So let's grab this. This is gonna be the collar of our overhangs. So that would be our stable. I got to do the beams on this end. Don't worry. I, I don't mind that that color on the roof. I really don't. I mean, there's really nothing else that we can change that to this. Like I can't. Like we could do a metal roof, but the clay tile roof is kind of like very that style, right? Uh, the only other thing that we could do down here would be to maybe paint the ground something else, like a dirt color. So maybe inside here is kind of a dirt color. So like from here to here is, or gravel. That's not really what I wanted. Uh, do dirt then. From here to here? Um, is it me or is it just not painting the dirt? <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, let's try that one, I guess. I mean, what's that one look like? That's gravel. Like, that's not even dirt. It's gray. Do we not have dirt? Maybe they don't have dirt on the beach. Maybe. I don't know. Alright. Let's put some lights in here. Uh, let's actually go to exterior lights. And, uh, go in here. Lights. Hanging lights. And let's use these. And we will put those. Actually, you know what? These are standing lamps. We don't have any that hang down, so we might have to go into regular house household lamps and get these kind. And probably do something like this. It's pretty fancy though, isn't it? But remember we can stretch these down, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I can't believe I left that on uh, the blue. <laughs> that's okay. All right, we got those. So let's go ahead and put a light switch in here. Light switch. Uh, yeah, I'll use these kind, that's fine. We'll put it right here on the wall. Nice, I like it. You know what we could probably do is go, we could actually, uh, let's go ahead and do this. And then what is it, Q inward? And let's see, can I grab from here to there and do that? And then change that to, uh, let's paint it. Change that to kind of like this. I don't, the horses probably wouldn't want to walk on anything like that. I mean, what does this look like? Just curious. Ugh, that's dark, I don't like it. We could do like a pavered, there's like a gravel. Oh, you can change the color of the gravel. Oh, I like that though. Just a light gravel color. I kind of like that. I was gonna go with more of like a cobblestone look, but we don't have like a cobblestone look. <laughs> well, we do have this though, don't we? So that's the, that's the uh, dirt color. So if I make it white, it's not really white. Yeah, and if I did this, this might not be that bad. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I think we'll make the driveway out of that too, like the entrance to the house. So if I did that, then we probably wanna have this come out a little bit further, like this. And then maybe from here to here, have it come across. And then maybe from here to here, have it go to the street. All right, and then we paint all this the same color, like that, all the way to here. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the house come around and it's gonna match this. But I think what I wanna actually do is have this wall kind of come into like right here. Yep, like this. And then we'll cut this section out all the way through. Yeah, I like that. And then let's go to here, four, and then here, up. If you're asking why I did it that thick, it just looks pretty. <laughs> That's really the only reason I did it. We might do something cool on the top, but I just want to, I want it to be thick. I want it to have some mass to it. So as you're coming down, I can't paint this. So as you're coming down, you're going to pull in and then you would have your horse stable. And then we're going to have the house L shaped. We're going to match this. And then I think what I'm going to try to do though right now is let's go ahead and do this. Um, if we finish, if we come through like this, I just gotta have this the same size. So let's go and paint this now all the way through. All right, so I was hoping to make this the courtyard, but we almost need to have this wider. Like we almost need to have the driveway a little bit wider. Like from here to like there, like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on this. So we'll have this one, same thing. Yeah, and then let's do, so here's the thing. We can buy a swimming pool, all right? So if we go in here and type in pools, pools, uh, we can buy this swing pool right here and we can actually rotate it and turn it over. So I want to put it basically right about here. That's square. And then we're going to take this and we're going to move it. Uh, grid snapping. Yeah, might as well. And then we're going to rotate it this way and then we're going to move it down. That works for me. And then we're going to build basically right, 22 by 21. Let's go over one more on this side. We can always move the pool. Oh, I was like, why is this not working? <laughs> Outward, thank you. All right, let's do two. All right, how big is the pool? Yeesh. Yeah, we're going to have to go like this. We might have to play up the size here in a second. Yeah, the water goes through. Unless we can move it over. We might be able to move it over. Yeah, it's a little bit too big. Oh, or not. Perfect. All right, so here's the question. Can I, let's see how this is rounded, right? Can I grab this tool here and can I stretch this? Resize. I can. 
And then can I rotate it vertical? No, you can only rotate it. Oh, that sucks. Because if we could have rotated this down, I could have made a curve on that. <laughs> All right, so let's get rid of that. Nix that idea. Uh, what other block do we have that we could possibly get that? Can I rotate this, though? So if I went like this... Uh, no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. Um... Okay, so that won't work, that won't work. How can I stretch these blocks? Now, these are the blocks that gave us all kinds of freaking issues. Yeah, okay, let's sell those. All right, so we're just gonna have to go like this. All right, so let me do that. And let's get, let's get rid of that. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that either. All right, how many, how many spots do we got? One more, no, that's wrong. This one's too much. There we go, all right, there's our courtyard. We could probably crop these corners off, but I kind of like that. And then we'll make something in the middle. I just don't know what yet, but we'll make something in the middle. I don't know if we got any like statues or we could put some columns in the middle with some plants. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we just, we make like a little planter area in the middle. Um, yeah, maybe we make like a little planter area in the, in the middle. I think that'd be kind of cool. As far as what this block should look like, I have no freaking idea. Uh, let's look at what we can make this out of. So let's grab this and go like this. We don't want to make it out of that. Uh, we can make it out of tile, like a Greek tile. I don't know. Like, I don't know what, what that would even look like. Like this, a patchwork tile. What does this look like? I'm just curious. Um, that's not that bad, especially down inside here. Oh, that's freaking cool. Not bad at all. We'll put a rim around the, the driveway. It's not going to be all that. We'll have a rim around it, so don't worry. We might even put like a... You guys let me know because you're going to see this and you can let me know like, should we put like a mosaic pattern? I don't know anything about Greece. So if you guys have ever been to Greece or if you guys are from Greece... Oh, we missed some blocks here. You let me know. Would you... Oh, uh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Would you put a a mosaic pattern in the stone or in, in, in the thing? Or what should this water surface be or the uh, sides be made out of? I'm just I'm just winging it right now and see. I had this horrible feeling that I wasn't recording. <laughs> uh, that would have been that would have sucked. All right. So we're doing this. All right. So I want to get this done here and then I'm going to try. We're already at one, the exact one hour mark. I don't know what it'll be when I when I edit it. It might be shorter. But um, I want to go ahead and try to lay out the house. At least the shape of it. All right, that's good. I like that. Oh, we've got this whole side over here. Like that. Like it. And then these walls. I think these walls are going to be the stucco color, but I don't know what the tops are going to be. So let's just grab this. Whoops. Grab that. And then we'll paint these all this stucco color. We'll probably have a wood cap on it or some wood every once in a while on the walls. But this is the color the walls are gonna be for right now. And then what I probably will do is, um, I'll probably go ahead and put an archway on on this entrance. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll cap this with wood. I think what we'll do is we'll go like this and let's go up to like right about there, four by four, and then we'll go up, is that the same? Yeah, it is, right? And then let's grab this block here, here to here, and then we'll make it like that. Yep, I like that. And then let's stretch this to there. All right, I like that. Yep, I like that a lot. All right, so let's paint this the same. Like I said, this is probably all gonna be, we'll, we'll play with this. I'm gonna have some wood on this as well, but I do like this clean look. Yeah, I like that. I think we'll have like a, we might have like a, a cool roof on this that's just a gable and we'll put some lights on it and some beams sticking out i think that'd be kind of cool yeah i think that'd be kind of cool and then this would just be a wood top maybe on top of this like a wood band that goes around the top and then maybe we mix a little bit of this but put like a little bit of a, a pattern on it like a brick pattern on it just to give it look like the bricks are getting exposed through uh, the surface do you know what i'm talking about like we could do a I know, I think we got some painted brick in here, don't we? Let's check. Do we have a painted brick that we could use? Uh, I guess we could just go like this. Uh, brick? Uh, it'd be down here, right? Oh, we could do it like this? <gasps> I totally forgot about this. Oh, damaged old plaster. There we go. So I could go, uh, I could do a couple places that look like this. So it gives it kind of some, some funness to it. Oh, I like that. I mean, I don't want it like everywhere. I hate how it cuts it off though. I just want some random places on it. I don't like that. Can you change the randomness on the placement? No. I mean, I guess we could make the whole building that, but that doesn't look, it looks kind of dumb. What if we made the darkness not so dark, like almost like the same color? 
or even lighter. What would lighter look like? Oh, I like that better. You can see it, but you can't see it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it gives you that feel that it's been painted over a couple times. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That gives that a really cool effect. All right. I like that. We'll leave that for that for there for right now. I don't know why I'm still painting. <laughs> I said I wanted to get the house done, but uh, I just I just want to get this piece done too. All right. There we go. All right. So that's that. Oh my God. I swear I don't have issues, but I do. All right, so let's do this. Then I want to have, uh, let's have this come back like this at 10 foot, right? And I want to come inside here. It's there, 10 foot. I want to have this wall come across. And then let's have this, we're going to have this raised. So that's going to have its own little roof on it. And then the house is going to come this way. But remember, the house has to be, the house is, um, you said it's got to be the the kitchen's got to be in the basement. That's fine. Let's go ahead and bring let's bring this to here. I want the the entryway to be centered on the pool, so we're gonna put a line like this. All right, so that's gonna be the entryway. Uh, let's see, let's go. What is that? That's eight feet. That's sixteen foot wide. That's really wide. Um, let's go five foot four. I don't know how big like that bring this over let's bring this in go like that and this is going to be the entryway all right let's have this continue across like so i'm just laying out walls guys it doesn't mean now the house is actually going to be we're just laying out walls i don't know like this is the back of the house right here so the house is going to be very very narrow when you walk in so i need to one two three four Four. I need to run this all the way down because this is going to be the back wall of the house, the back wall of the property. All right, let's make this the back wall of the house. All right, that's the back wall of the house. So maybe the front entry is like right here then. We'll get rid of this part here. Floor plan wise, I am just winging this. I have no freaking idea. <laughs> my in, my envision is is that you would have this courtyard, not really a courtyard, but you'd have this breezeway that you could go from the house into the horses, right? Um, and that would be connected to the house. But I kind of want to have um, like just let's see, let's come over like ten feet is there. So let's run a wall like this, and then. Um, yeah, that's fine like this. I wanted to go down with it though, but we'll just go up with it since it won't let me go down with it. So let's bring this back and then let's bring this down and in and like that. And then let's get rid of this piece here. All right, I like that little indentation right there like that. This is going to be a two story house too. So we'll make it a two story house. And then let's go ahead and have how far is this? 22, 8, 22, 8. I mean, that was perfect. Uh, we'll have this come in. So that's symmetrical. Two-story house. Very, very... We'll do it like that. And then we'll go... Um, we'll use a floor system that's too high. So we'll go all the way back to here. This will be the ceiling all the way through. We'll come to here. And we'll do it again. Like I said, I don't know what this is going to look like. We're just winging it for right now. And then the second floor will take up... We'll go eight foot eight on the second floor. I know it looks like a big box. We're going to make it look pretty. I'm just laying walls out. Please. <laughs> Trust me. All right. I like that. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have... I don't even know if this is going to be possible. Uh, let's have... Let's cut this section out. Uh, let's see. Like right about there. Actually, let's... Um, I, have, I have an idea. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. We're going to do that. Let's run some walls back like this. I have an idea. All right, he's going to have some dormers on it. So that's going to be the entryway. All right, so we need... Uh, Let's have these go subgrade, and then we'll have this come like this. Uh oh, uh oh. Five foot four, four foot eight. Uh, let's just add it to this one then. It's still two on that side though. Oh, I know, I know why. This is like what happened in the other game. So the reason is, is there is no center line. It's actually a double center line. Like th this is off, so it would be two, right? So we would have basically five foot four and five foot four so i need five foot four from this which is that all right so we just need to yeah this ended up being two we didn't get that right all right that's fine we will fix that that's fine uh we need to change that to outward we will fix that so that's gonna make the house off just a little bit so this is now 22 feet and this one is 
Well, we were way off on that. All right. <laughs> so did I just fix it? I couldn't tell if that deleted it or not. No. So right there's 22 feet. One, two. We need to take out the last two sections of the house all the way through. There we go. Uh, what's the deal here? Am I still off? This is five foot four. This is five foot four. This is five foot four. And this is four foot eight. Well, crap, guys. There. I had it right to begin with. All right. So this should be 22 feet. Yeah, we did. We did need that little piece there. Boop. Just one. So that's centered on the house. That works for me. And then we're gonna have probably the garage on this side. So let's go ahead and build this wall all the way back. Bam. And we'll just mimic that garage on that side, which I, our, we're, our, our house is not gonna be on center. As you can already tell, I'm wider on that side than I am this side. Which is fine. Uh, that means the garage is going to be closer on this side. You have to come in. And we're just going to have it right up against the wall. Which is not that big of a deal. I do want them lined up though. So this would be my line. And let's go ahead and make... I don't... Do we want to make... Yeah, we we'll probably should make them the same height. Uh, I think I made those 12 feet tall. And we're going to take that right up against the wall. <laughs> take it right up against the wall. Who cares? And then that is lined up with that. So that is my outside of my garage wall. All right. And then let's delete this to some point. I didn't mean to paint it. I meant to delete it. Boop. Okay. And then uh, 18, 20, 21, 4. This will be the front wall of the garage to here. We'll get rid of this and that. So that's our garage. And then our house is going to come over the top of the garage. So yeah, we need to have the exact same thing over here so that sits in one block so we'll set this in one block oh, but we only want this to be 10 feet because that's how tall the house is so we'll run that wall back and maybe it's not that wide back here so we do like a, a 13 about right there have this run back something like this this will be our floor line which is good yeah that's good and then we'll take this or actually this inward we'll bring this Crossed and then in, and we'll match that cobblestone to there. And then we'll just, I'm gonna bring, what I'll probably do is just bring this all the way through. Let's see what this looks like first. Let's just bring this all the way, oh, it works, it, that works out perfect. And then we'll paint all this, yeah. That's our courtyard, all right, and I don't need this. All right, we'll probably still have some little couple walls here just for fun inside the house, like inside our we'll have a little cart, like a little garden courtyard, little garden courtyard. I know some, when I did my live stream the other day, somebody was like, why don't you guys do gardens in the front of the house? And it's like, well, in the United States, you don't have, you're not allowed to put gardens in the front of the house. So that's, that's why. So uh, what I want to do up here is I want... Let's see, how do we want to do this? So let's come over, uh, let's see how, this is 22 feet, right? 22 feet exactly. So if we came in 11.4, that's 10.8, that's 11.4. I'm not gonna be able to get them exactly. So let's come off the edges like four foot eight. Uh, there's, let's see, which, which number, we're doing the one at the bottom, right? So four foot eight, and then we'll come over on this one, four foot eight. And then if I go, that's 12 foot 8, 4 foot 8, so mark there. Wait, all right, let's take those two out. Yep, let's take those two out. And then let's, we're, we're, we'll, we're going to play with this. And we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Uh, we need to take these walls out though first, I guess, from here all the way through. All right, so from here, 4 foot 8, bang. And then same thing on this side, bang. And then... I like that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put some windows in this. <clears throat> Skinny windows, of course. And then those windows, uh, three foot eight. We're going to leave the wood color on them. And we're going to probably set these right in the middle of all these. That's why I picked four foot eight, because I knew these windows are going to be like that. All right. And these are going to, the roof is going to be from here to the back. And these are going to be dormers. Now that I know how to get this the walls to get cut off. I think that we're going to be able to do these as dormers now. And then I think what I want is this one here to be a dormer as well from here to here like that. Uh, that one is just one over too far. Okay. Yep. Right there. And then this one needs to come over one. Yes. And then we'll probably just use these same windows there, although they're not 
on center. Three on this side, four on that side. Why does that always happen to me? Like, literally, why does that always happen to me? <clears throat> All right, so that's the case. <laughs> let's get rid of, let's move this one over. That puts me three. This should be centered. All right, this one needs to be, I guess, wider. So let's get rid of this and let's see if we can get, oh, this was a three, right? I don't think we have a four. I don't think we have a four wide window, do we? We have a six by six, five by five. And I guess we do a, a big picture window there. We do have a four. Okay, we have four by eight. All right, so four by eight would work. All right, so, oh, we got these the wrong direction. Uh, Just reverse these. Let's see, R, change style. Just wrote, can I just move them in? There we go. All right, that worked. All right, that works there. All right, and then over here, I want windows like all the way through here. So how big are these? They're not very big. Like that, maybe? <coughs> yeah, that's fine. We're gonna have to find a place to put the steps. That's the only problem. So I think the steps are gonna be right here in the back. See, they would come up. Yeah, 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 I think I would like that. So if you were to come in the front door, we'd probably have this uh, as the floor line right here, something like this. I don't know exactly how it's gonna look. It's definitely gonna be like this wide though. All right, this is gonna come across and then up. And then as you come in, the kitchen's downstairs, which I still don't understand. <laughs> I still don't understand that. That means you got that means you gotta bring all your food from up from the basement up to the first floor to eat. Which is I don't understand. Maybe we'll do here here's what we're gonna do. We'll do a kitchen on the first floor, but we'll do like a prep kitchen in the basement as well. Like a chef's kitchen in the basement. And then maybe the upstairs one won't be that, that bad. So over here on this side, what I think I'll do is let's go ahead we'll make this the depth of the house for the first floor right here and we'll come over to here i'm sure when vans watch this he's going to give me like the reasons why they do it but or if somebody is from greece can you give me the reasons why you would do this uh we'll do that and that's fine and then i am going to uh let's bring this wall through and up that doesn't mean that's how it's going to be. And let's bring an opening through here, right? And then let's do, uh, let's see, that's fine that way. This is going to be very symmetrical, and I don't know if houses in Greece are very symmetrical uh, either. So that's something else I don't know. But we're going to do our best. This will be the best wing job I've ever done. Because I, I literally am just doing this off of what I know about current architecture. <laughs> uh, let's go like this. All right, so that's going to be our entrance. Let's get us a, a cool door. Um, these aren't, none of these doors are cool to me for like a house like this. I mean, this one looks raggedy. I wouldn't use that one. I wouldn't use this. I, w I don't think I would use that. I would use this if the door was arched. You know what we could do. I can make this look arched. Let's grab this. Okay, I'm going to try something. Um, can I stretch the door? No. All right, that's fine. Um, here's what I was wanting to do. So I could actually bring a wall up like this and then a wall up like this. And then I could grab that arch block and make this look like the door is arched. See, I can trick you into thinking that it's arched, which is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Oh, <laughs> You gotta change the swing of the door. Uh, change style. A right hand door. There we go. It still wants to swing out? Why? Oh my god, now it's not gonna work at all. Oh crap. I mean, that is kind of cool. I don't know. I just wish the doors were taller. That's all. Just wish the doors were taller. So, let's not do this. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's nix all this stuff. Let's nix that and this thing here. We'll, we'll sell that. No, I just wanna sell it. Alright, we'll keep that door there though. I'll probably put some, uh, windows to the side of it so we could just grab some windows that are uh pretty freaking tall which is like the five by seven one things these things here are like really tired we can put those on the sides and maybe we take the um those are actually really uh do they have a so that's a five by ten actually let's not do that let's get um let's get the four by eights and we'll just set these like this so that'll be our entryway yep I don't think we need this to be that tall, though. I think we made the first floor too tall. I really do. Yeah. Let's do something real quick. Let's um, let's grab this paint that we used over here. Boop. All right. What would this look like? No, that looks stupid. <laughs> it looks stupid. I don't even like that door. Like, I really don't. I think we should just get rid of that door. Let's just nix that door. We'll let's get a door that is just a normal door, I guess. Just a normal door. 
like this one. Oh, it's not as wide as the other one. Are you kidding? Ugh, that's gonna screw up everything. <laughs> it really is gonna screw up everything. Why is this door? This door is a 40 inch. This is a 48 inch. Ah, crap. Can I change the, uh, I can't change that crap there. These are the door handles. Oh man, that sucks. All right, we'll just leave that as the door. I don't really want to, but we'll have to leave it as it is. I don't know if this is what we're gonna do with the front porch or not, just, just bear with me. And let's, uh, I'm just having fun right now. All right. I just feel like this needs to be something else. All right, guys, we've been recording for almost an hour and a half. That so far is all I've gotten done. But uh, I'll probably live stream this uh, on Tuesday to finish it up, which would be... Uh, you guys, let me know if you want me to live stream this. We might live stream Sons of the Forest. Regardless, one of them is going to be on Tuesday. Uh, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know, let me know your, your thoughts and suggestions on this one. Uh, if you even, if you like it, what, what do we got to take photo mode control in this? What the heck? Change field of view. Why does it look like that? Where's the photo go? That's what I want to know. Change camera order control. I don't even know what that means. Eh, let's just skip this. <laughs> uh, delete, delete. All right. We'll just take it like this. Cause this works out better for me at least. Uh, let's put it on G. Here we go. This is what I wanted to do. All right, we'll make this. Uh, should we take it from this angle? Yeah, we'll take it from this angle. Yep, there we go. All right, guys, like I said, you guys let me know if you got any suggestions or uh, comments or what you would change. Uh, we're going to decorate this. Don't worry. It's not going to look this plain. I got some I got some thoughts. I just don't know what to do with this building. I might sketch something out on a piece of paper and then come back with it. Um, I haven't, th this roof is going to, all these are going to be dormers off this roof. So the roof's going to come down and have some kind of like this detailing on it. And then these windows here are probably going to get boxed out. And then it's just this entryway that I do not like. So we might end up doing two doors, like a double door. Um, but I just, I just, there's something about this that I don't like. It just, it just, it looks too square to me, but I, I've looked at a bunch of Greek residential designs and they're very boxy like they really are if you go and google them they're really boxy so um yeah we'll have to what we'll to look that look at that this might have like a little roof on it too we might have to put some like little wood kind of like this see how this sticks out we might do that right here on the front porch but yeah guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it hit the like button hit the subscribe button check out discord there's a link in the description and uh, hop over there we are growing over there and having fun submitting pictures and giving ideas and helping each other out so i will catch you in the next episode guys see you